Look at me, I'm in San Francisco, and I'm doing things. Yes, folks, this week on Destination Anywhere, I find myself in San Francisco, making use of the Slow Streets initiative to get some exercise and do some more surf skating. From what I understand, the Slow Streets program was begun to encourage more socially distanced traveling, like walking, biking, scootering, and, of course, skateboarding during the pandemic. So I figured I'd take advantage of it while I'm here. Unfortunately, I didn't get much footage of San Francisco for this week's video. Despite spending several days here, it seemed like all I really did the entire time was avoid parking tickets by constantly moving my van and finding new places to park. That made it pretty rough to enjoy myself, but I still had a great time. I stayed with a very good friend of mine who I hadn't seen in a while. We spent a few nights together meeting with her friends, watching movies, going on morning walks for coffee, and just bumming around the city. Even for as much as I got to do, I don't feel like I got to do enough. As I had mentioned in my last video, the exhaustion of life on the road and the depression of the fall-like gray weather I encountered were taking a toll on me. And if that were truly the lowest point of my trip, this was certainly the upswing. Although I don't quite think I could adapt to life in San Francisco full time, I'm told that the weather is pretty much in the upper 40s to mid 70s year round, and as much as I would appreciate such mild winters, I much prefer the heat and sunshine of summer than I'm used to and this perpetual feeling of autumn would just not be something I feel I could ever adjust to. However, just a few hours south, I would find life much more suitable to my disposition. Santa Cruz was really more like it. Warmer, beachier, I felt at home. Also, as a movie geek, I couldn't help but visit the same amusement park which served as the backdrop for the Lost Boys and what would be called Santa Carla in the movie. It just really made my day. Plus, as a skater, I really just wanted to see the home of Santa Cruz Skateboards and their skateboard museum. However, as would be a common theme throughout my trip, a lot of places are still closed to the public because of COVID. So although I had to miss out on that, I still had a lot of fun skating around. I was able to grab some lunch and then head down to the beach to watch the waves roll in. One of the things I regret most about my trip, however, was that I didn't take time to learn how to surf. It's something I've always wanted to do, something I definitely planned to do on this trip, and for whatever reason, I just chickened out. I didn't have the guts to go buy or rent a board and really give it a go. And when it finally came time to put up or shut up, I shut up. Well, maybe next time, I guess. The next day, I headed to Monterey. But that's a video for another day. Hey, that one. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, hit the like and subscribe button for more.